A patient comes to ER with palpitation, but you don't know how to calculate the heart rate and you inform the printed number on the ECG to your seniors. What if that number is wrong and you miss a very life-threatening arrhythmia because you trusted on the machine? Hi, I am Dr. Saurabh and in today's video, I am going to teach you how to double check and calculate the heart rate by yourself because when it comes to patient care, every second can make a lot of difference. So friends, let's get started. Before starting this video, I would like to tell you that if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. So let's start the video. Before going to the actual calculation of heart rate, let's revise some basics and do some mathematics so that it will help us to understand the formulas. So friends, we all know that the ECG paper is made up of some large squares and in each large square, there are certain small squares. For example, this is a large square. Now we will magnify this large square. Now each large square, it represents a time of 0.2 seconds and each small square it represents a time of 0.4 seconds now by using this five large squares will make one second 0.2 multiplied by five is one therefore five large squares will make one second then 330 large squares will make 6 seconds ok 5 6 are 30 then 300 large squares will make 60 seconds or 1 minute and if you use same thing for the small squares then 50 hundred small squares will make 60 seconds all these uh, calculations will help us in understanding the formulas now let's go to the actual calculation of heart rate so when we go for calculating the heart rate on the ecg we first see whether the rhythm is regular rhythm or the rhythm is irregular now, what do you mean by a regular rhythm and irregular rhythm? So, when the RR interval, this is an R wave. So, when the RR interval is constant, then the rhythm is said to be a regular rhythm. And when the RR rhythm is continuously changing, then that type of rhythm is called as irregular rhythm. So, when the rhythm is regular, then the formula for calculating the heart rate is 300 upon number of large squares. There is also another formula 1500 divided by number of small squares. And when the rhythm is irregular, the method is called as 6 second method. In the previous slide, we have seen that 6 seconds mean 30 large squares. What we do here, in the uh, period of 30 large squares, we calculate the number of R waves. Number of R waves. And then we multiply it by 10 to get the heart rate. Now we will see all these things on the actual ECG. Now this is a ECG and now in this lead we will calculate the number of squares between the two R waves. This is one R wave and this is another R wave. So now the number of squares is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the number of large squares is 4. So according to the formula the heart rate will be 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75. Okay, now another ECG. Now what is here? Now we can say that here there is one large square, two large squares, 
3 large square and there is some half large square here. So, here we cannot calculate the exact heart rate. What, what we can see? We can say that the heart rate of the patient is somewhere between 3 large squares to 4 large squares. So, 3 large squares means 300 upon 3 is equal to 100 and 4 large squares means 300 upon 4 is equal to 75. Means the heart rate of the patient is somewhere between 100 and 75. If you want the exact number, then you will have to do a small uh, square formula means 1500 divided by number of small squares. So, if you calculate the number of small squares, in each large square, there are 5 small squares. So, 5, 5, 5, 15 and if you add 2 or 3 small squares, then it will become around 17. If you do the calculation, it will come somewhere around 88. So, this will be the actual heart rate of the patient. But dear friends, when we see the ECG during emergency, we do not bother about the exact number of heart rate. Whether it is 82 or 84 or 88, it will not make any difference. What we are interested, we are in interested in knowing whether the patient is having a bradycardia or patient is having a tachycardia. So, how can we do it? So, according to the large square formula, 300 divided by 1 is 300, okay. 300 divided by 2 large squares will be 150. 300 divided by 3 will be 100. So, this is important. Then 300 divided by 4 will be 75. 300 divided by 5 will be 60. And 300 divided by 6 will be 50. So, and this is important. So, above 100 is tachycardia and below 60 is bradycardia. So, what we can say, when the number of large squares is less than 3, then we can call it a tachycardia. And when the number of large squares is more than 5, then we can call it a bradycardia. Now, let's see this on the ECG. Now, in this ECG, what we can see, we take here, this is one large square, this is two large square, and this is half. Means the number of large squares between the two R waves is less than three. Is less than three. So, here we can say the patient's heart rate is more than 100 or it is tachycardia. So, now we will see the second ECG. In this ECG, if you calculate the number of large squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and near about 7. So, the number of large squares is more than 5 or the heart rate is less than 60 and we can say now that the patient is having a bradycardia. In this way, the formula of large squares can help us in determining whether the patient is having a tachycardia or bradycardia. So, this is when the patient's rhythm is regular. Now, we will see how the heart rate is calculated on irregular rhythm. So, when the rhythm is irregular, we use 6 second method or 30 large box method. So, now we will calculate the 30 large boxes. So, we will start from here and if we calculate 30 large boxes, it will come to here. Now, we will calculate the number of R waves. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, now the heart rate of the patient will be 11 multiplied by 10, that is 110. So, this will be the heart rate of the patient. Now, we will see another ECG. Now, if here we calculate the 30 large boxes, it will be like this. Now, the number of R waves are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13 and 14. So here the heart rate will be 14 into 10 is equal to 140. One thing to be kept in mind in this method is that there can be some variations when the method is used by two different people because it depends on from where you start counting your 30 large squares. So there can be some variation but approximately the heart rate will be same. So friends that's all for today and in this way we can calculate the heart rate of the patient. If you find today's video helpful then give it a like share with your friends and do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights and always remember that every great clinician starts with the basic heart rate calculation is your foundation keep building from here see you in the next video till then thank you